were shopping. Maybe, maybe day gaming. This is my house, it's my Airbnb. So, we're here in Zagreb. Uh, very nice city, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, when Mark talked about coming here, I thought it would be like really shitty, but it's, it's beautiful. So one, one thing that I've noticed that is actually, uh, like I think is, it's pretty big. There are only two directions really where you can take your, uh, your conversation, your verbals. Either, um, so it, it will depend 100% on what perception the girl already has of you. So let's say that she already perceives you as high value for, for whatever reason. Um, maybe she just likes the way you look. Like it, it, it doesn't really matter. It's, don't have to question it, she likes you, whatever. Um, then the, the correct move, like almost every time, would be to sexualize, right? If she doesn't perceive you as high value, then what you do, you, you need to DHB, obviously, somehow. Uh, and the way you can do this is that you can do this with um, uh, pre-selection stories is, is probably my, my favorite one. But also it's like throwing in like subtle hints and baits to, to bait her to inquire about your life. And when you get these questions, right, you need to fucking capitalize on them and make the most out of them. Uh, I see all the time with students and yeah, like just guys in general, right? They give like the shittiest answers to these questions that they could uh, really like shoot up their value with. Like for example, what do you do for work? They, like I have, I had one guy uh, on, on program, he, he had studied to be like a psychiatrist or some shit, but right now he's working as a waiter. And which one do you think he told him? He told him he's a fucking waiter, right? So, I mean, that, that's just one example. Maybe a bit extreme, but still. Like a lot of times on program, I will have guys tell me 12 days into the fucking program that uh, that, that they, they fly helicopters, that they're a pilot, right? Why didn't I notice the first fucking days? Because people are afraid to, uh, they, they wanna be, they wanna come up as humble, they don't wanna brag, right? And for some reason, they, they would feel completely fine doing this on, for example, like a CV, like they're applying for a job or whatever. But when it comes to, uh, to, to meeting women, they're like, no, nah, we can't do this, it's try hard. We, can't, we cannot tell them why we're good, we cannot showcase our value because that would be try hard. Which makes zero sense whatsoever. Stupid. <clears throat> I think my, my biggest problem in game, it hasn't, it, it hasn't, I've never had difficulties understanding what to do or implementing like whatever, right? But what has always been like the fucking really difficult part for me is getting out of uh, anxiety. That has always been the big thing. If I didn't have, if I wasn't like constantly crippled by anxiety, I, I would have 20 times the results. Like this is uh, stupid. Stupid. I could have pulled already this fucking day game session. So, um, what I'm working on, on in my game myself right now is something that is probably like very different to what you hear people talk about in the community. People talk about, yeah, I'm gonna like learn how to disqualify more, I'm gonna learn how to neg, T, spike, all that fucking shit, right? That's, that's not what I'm, what I'm uh, trying to implement right now. I'm trying to implement more of... Um, I, I don't really know what to call it, but I guess what I'm really trying to do is to really push the boundaries of, of what you can accomplish with um, only um, em empathy, I guess you would call it. I don't even know if you can call it empathy, but um, body language reading, micro expressions, all, all of that stuff, right? And really like understanding what that person is thinking and feeling in the moment. Uh, and we all have the ability to, to see these things. So, one thing that I will do is like, I will simply sit down and just try to observe as much as possible what's going on around me. I will pick a random person and I will try to find 10 things about them 
that is not like immediately like obvious. And this is really how you develop like really like Sherlock Holmes level uh, observational skills. For example, we were, we were in the line to a club in, in Vegas um, two weeks ago or something, right? I see this girl standing in front of us in the line. And mm, I mean, at, 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 uh, at, first, at first sight, like there's nothing really different about her. She's you know, like a regular girl, right? But there's just something about her in, and the way that she responds to male attention. So um, she responds to male attention in the way that someone who hasn't had it in a long time would. As someone like it's still like new and exciting, but she's like 28. So what, what, what can you uh, deduce from that? Like she, my first guess was that she just got out of a relationship, like maybe one month ago, right? So I go and ask her, hey, like, uh, what are you doing in Vegas? This is my breakup trip, that's what she responds. So that's like one thing that, that uh, that's, the, that's the kind of insight that you can get simply from observing um, observing someone and knowing sort of what to look for. Um, and a lot of that is just establishing a baseline and then being able to see when something differentiates from, uh, from the baseline. And I know that the way that she responded to male attention is, 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 is quite far off the baseline to how women typically respond to male attention. So that's how I could draw that conclusion. I was 100% uh, right. And this is what's funny about it though. The uh, her friend responded to it in probably like the complete opposite. So what's the deduction there? She has a boyfriend. I'm gonna ask her. I have a boyfriend. Yes, easy. Rant. <laughs> <laughs>